Holy Spirit help us in Jesus name the power of thanksgiving the power of thanksgiving I'm going to charge you five ten minutes I'll be done hallelujah the power of thanksgiving there are several scriptures that has confirmed or that have confirmed that thanksgiving is powerful. That has made us so understand that there is power in thanksgiving. Hallelujah. One of them is the one we read from. And also from the one we've been reading from the book of Luke chapter 17 from 17 to 19. If you look very well and as God helps you and gives you access to revelation, you will see that there is power in thanksgiving. In thanksgiving. So that is to say, to be full of thanks is to be full of power. Am I talking to somebody here? You cannot be full of thanksgiving and be empty of God's power. Am I talking to somebody here? The more you thank God, the more you see the power of God. Thanksgiving gives us access to see the power of God in our lives. Am I speaking to somebody here? There are people that after this meeting, they will begin to see the power of God in your life. By reason of today's Thanksgiving, people will begin to see the power of God in your life. I said that we see the power of God at work in your life. Let me hear an amen like thunder. Amen. There is enormous power in thanksgiving. Thanksgiving is the ability to get more from God. Thanksgiving is the ability to commit God to demonstrate his power. Thanksgiving is the ability to assess the glory of God. Thanksgiving is the ability to overcome the devil, the enemies for your next level. Thanksgiving paralyzes the devil, the enemies. Thanksgiving puts the enemies out of business that are on assignment to stop you from receiving things from God. There are devils that do not want you to receive anything. There are enemies that have vowed that the last one you received is the last one forever. The Bible says in the book of Matthew chapter 28 after Jesus was buried the Bible says they hired some security guards sophisticated security guard to keep the tomb to make sure that Jesus Christ do not rise why because they said if we allow it to happen this mistake this error will be worse than the greater uh, than the former they will be worse than the former I'm talking to somebody here what was the former when Jesus was born they wanted to kill him they attempted and devised all their evil to kill Jesus but they could not kill him. I'm talking to somebody here. They wanted to stop him initially, but they couldn't. I'm talking to somebody here. Listen to me. There are devils, there are enemies that have vowed that the last testimony you shared is the last one forever. That the last one you receive from God is the last one forever. But that's what. How do you deal with those enemies? How do you put them out of business? How do you frustrate their business? Devices. How do you paralyze their effort? It is true thanksgiving. It is true thanksgiving. True thanksgiving, you paralyze the devil. You put them out of business. You frustrate their devices and their effort against your life. I'm speaking to somebody and I pray for somebody that through this thanksgiving, may all your enemies be paralyzed. May their devices Devices against you be frustrated in the name of Jesus. Let me hear an email like thunder. Somebody holla fire. Thanksgiving makes the enemies incapacitated. Thanksgiving is the ability to assess the goodness of God. Listen to me. The Bible says in the book of Psalm 92 and verse 1, I believe, it says it is a good thing to give thanks to God. It is a good thing to give thanks to God. You must know in the book of Galatians, 
Revelation 6 7. God says, Do not be deceived, for God is not mocked. Whatsoever a man sows, thou shall he reap. For you to reap, to have this, the goodness of God, you must sow goodness. What you sow is what you reap. So if you want to receive the goodness of God, you must give what is good to him. Am I talking to somebody? And what is that? Somebody had that thanksgiving. It is a good thing. When you give to God what is good, God in return gives to you his goodness. I prophesy over your life that by reason of this thanksgiving, may God release upon you his goodness in the name of Jesus. Oh my God, I wish you had me. I said, may God release upon you his goodness in the name of Jesus. May the Lord release upon you his goodness in the name of Jesus. Amen. Thanksgiving is what to do. It's what to do when you when you do not have enough. Am I talking to somebody here? Thanksgiving is what to do when you are frustrated, when you feel limited. Thanksgiving is what to do to break a limitation. That is one thing Thanksgiving does. Thanksgiving breaks a limitation. Am I talking to somebody here? Jesus Christ was to feed over five thousand people and he had just five loaves of bread and two fishes that was a huge limitation there was no way possible that he could feed over five thousand people with just five loaves of bread and two fishes there was a huge limitation how did he break the limitation by giving thanks to god when he gave thanks to god that limit was broken am i talking to somebody here at the end of the day he moved from not in enough to more than enough many of us up to today you have been in that level of not enough the money you receive is not enough even though you are working your salary is not enough you are doing business your income is not enough whatever you are getting is not enough you are receiving help is running off many of us you get paid you receive grants from the government but it's not enough you have people around you they are giving you the assistance but not enough how do you break that limit of not enough into more than enough that the one that had five loaves of bread and two fishes that was too good for nothing at the end of the day five thousand people they ate over five thousand people ate and twelve baskets were left at the end of the day it was true thanksgiving my dear if you can give god thanks if you can do it well i can guarantee you limit in your life will be broken i prophesy over your life today that by reason of this thanksgiving may every limit in your life be broken in the name of jesus may every limit in your life be broken in the name of jesus may every limit in your life be broken in the name of jesus may every limit in your business in your finances in your marriage in your health in your job be broken today i declare it's broken today i declare it's broken today i declare it's broken today amen so thanksgiving it's a limit breaker Thanksgiving is the ability to move from tears into joy. Thanksgiving is the ability. It gives you the power to move from tears to joy. I pray for somebody here that the last tears you shared is the last one in the name of Jesus. Christ. After this meeting, the only tears you will share shall be the tears of joy in the name of Jesus Christ. In the book of John chapter 11, Jesus Jesus Christ came to where Jesus Lazarus Christ was laid, everyone crying, seven tears. And he said, Father, I thank Father, you because you hear me always. Through that thanksgiving, Jesus moved everyone. He moved everyone. 
into joy. Into joy. I pray for somebody here today that by reason of this thanksgiving, may every tears in your life come to an end in the name of Jesus. May every tears in your life come to an end in the name of Jesus. Let me hear an amen like thunder. Tell the person next to you there is power in thanksgiving. Thanksgiving is what the enemies do not want you to do in order to keep you oppressed forever. They want to keep you in that limitation. They want to keep you in that situation. They know if you can thank God, your level will change. You will break out from that limit so they do not want you to do it. They will put you under pressure to make sure that your attention is taken away from God. The devil is a liar. Every enemy is in power that are fighting against us from returning the glory to God. We command them to catch fire in the name of Jesus. We command them to catch fire in the name of Jesus. Thanksgiving embarrasses the enemies. It embarrasses the enemies. That is when even after God has done it, yet they don't want you to testify. I remember I was speaking to a woman. She told me how God has given her a job. She heard about the testimony of another person here. How the person came here and got a job. And she came also, and she came and she got a job afterwards. But she didn't testify. They said, according to her, she didn't qualify for it. People were asking her, How did you get this job? How did you get this job? People suspected her. They suspected her to have done some things. I'm talking to somebody here. But she failed to testify. I said, Why didn't you testify? That was the last time she came to church. I'm talking to somebody. Here. Why is the devil doing that? Because they don't want her to receive more from God. There are many more that God wants to do for you. It's only thanksgiving that we give you the answer. So, so the devil will do everything to make sure that even that which God has done for you, you don't testify. So, so keep you in that level. And also, it embarrasses them because the job that they say you will not get as you come in thanksgiving to God. God, that God has done it, they are embarrassed. Tell the person next to you, embarrass the devil, embarrass the enemies, embarrass the enemies with your thanksgiving to God. They are embarrassed. And I pray for somebody here. May God continue to give us reasons by reason of this thanksgiving to embarrass our enemies. Oh my God. Continue to give us reasons to embarrass our enemies. Amen. Mm.